With the construction of the new small animal imaging building for the Bioimaging Lab and the Molecular Imaging Center Antwerp, Mika, the University of Antwerp brings preclinical imaging to a whole new level. Molecular imaging, both nuclear and MR, has become increasingly important recently and forms a key factor in innovative, fundamental research on diseases like cancer, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. The advantage of the strength of molecular imaging is that you can visualize metabolic processes in vivo. So within a living subject, it can be an animal or a human, without taking any biopsy. It's animal friendly too because you only anesthetize your animal and you need less animals. And the patients, uh, they definitely would benefit from the fact that the diagnosis is improved. Diagnosis not only for uh, finding out what type of disease you have, but also to find out whether your treatment, for instance if you treat a patient with a specific cancer, that you can find out in a very early stage whether the, 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 the treatment is successful or not. The bioimaging lab uses both magnetic resonance imaging and bioluminescence imaging and has always played a leading role in preclinical brain research in mice and songbirds. The lab now has three MR scanners for small animals next to a BLI scanner. Next to the bioimaging lab is the new nuclear imaging lab, which makes it now possible to do PET scans as well. The nuclear imaging lab uses molecules that have been made radioactive. These molecules are injected into the animal, which is then put asleep. By using the new state-of-the-art scanners, the molecule can be followed throughout the animal's body. This is the result of um, the preclinical acquisition that we performed in the lab. What you can see here is uh, almost full body rat, uh, and the anatomy clearly delineated by the CT uh, acquisition. And then in the um, red color scale, you see the uptake of the PET exam. Especially what you see lightening up uh, here is uh, the brain activity, also uptake in the eyes, muscle activity around uh, the front uh, paws of the animal, and then uh, some uh, bowel activity in the gastrointestinal tract. If you want to look uh, to the animals in more detail, we have also this uh, zoom uh, view where you can see here the brain activity in uh, clear uh, structured uh, layout and where we can uh, study the different uh, pathologies at hand. The power of the strength of specific nuclear imaging using radioactive probes is that it's a very sensitive imaging probe. So you need very small amounts of tracer to be injected in the order of one thousandth of a milligram uh, and you can visualize the process. And this makes it very sensitive and less toxic. And therefore you can study first a new probe in an animal I mean, you know how it works, it's quite easy to transfer it to humans because it's not toxic, you don't have any side effects. Furthermore, Mika now also has a new cyclotron which provides the radioactive probes needed for the scans of the nuclear imaging lab. This gives the lab the possibility to create its own tracers in function of the specific research being done at the moment. Once it has been made radioactive in the cyclotron, the probe is transferred into a lead canister for transport to the lab next door. The fact that both the nuclear imaging lab and the bioimaging lab are now so closely linked together and literally next to each other is a big advantage for both labs, since both imaging techniques are very complementary to each other. What is most advantageous is that we can study the same animal uh, almost consecutively with imaging tools we have and then move with the animal in the animal bed anesthetized to the other uh, department and then investigate it with the tools they have. So you can uh, sort of um, apply an entire sequence of imaging procedures to the same animal because we're so close to each other. It's only one door. Both preclinical departments are also closely linked to their clinical counterparts. In fact, the scanners they use are miniature copies of the scanners used in clinical imaging. This allows research to be conducted from A to Z within the walls of Mika. What's important now in our department now that we have access to both human imaging 
small animal imaging and the cyclotron is that we will, can really do the translational um, work. And I think this is important if we really want to, at the end, have benefit for the patients. Um, so now we can develop new tracers and this in combination either with industry or with uh, more fundamental labs here at the university who also look at different targets. We can develop probes against it, then visualize in the animal how it works and then if we think we have a good imaging biomarker, then transfer it to the human data. And I think this is really a strength having it all together uh, within the same department. Miko works closely together with Janssen Pharmaceuticals in support of their fundamental research, since molecular imaging plays an increasingly bigger role in the development of new drugs. We have a close collaboration with Janssen Pharmaceuticals to try to help them in their development for drugs uh, for psychiatry and for uh, Alzheimer's disease. Uh, what is the advantage of using nuclear imaging probes is that when you develop drugs for brain uh, diseases, what you actually want is that the drug gets into the brain. Uh, the problem is that the brain is protected by the blood-brain barrier and so that a lot of drugs don't get there. And what's important to know is if the new drug really hits the brain, hits the target, and what we will do is to try to make the new drugs that Janssen has in development to make them radioactive and so we can follow uh, the, metabolo the metabolism of the drug and then see if that specific drug enters the brain so that it can have its effect. We will test it of course first in the animals and when we see that it gets in the animals then we also try to do it in humans. In the beginning healthy volunteers, later on patient uh, studies. And, and this is important because although we resemble a lot on mice and rats, we are not mice and rats and the blood-brain barrier is highly species dependent. So it's, it's very important to know before you engage in large uh, trials with patients that you know that the drug really hits the target. And this is one of, of the principal aims in the research with Janssen.